welcome back. Before I dive into what streaming services I like and use, I wanted to give you a quick update, a few things about cord cutting. A lot of big events happening in the next couple of weeks, the Republican National Convention, the Democratic National Convention, and the Olympics are all happening in the next three weeks. Um, I have a guide already up for the Republican National Convention. You can check that out. I'll link to it in the show notes right here or find it over at courtcarsnews.com in the how-to guide. Uh, I will have guides for the Democratic National Convention and the Olympics as we get a little closer. Uh, I, I typically don't post those a month or more in advance because if I do, uh, I have to repost them again because people can't find them. We do so many posts. So keep your eyes open for that. Uh, also, there's been a lot of breaking news happening recently, and we have a complete guide of how to watch live breaking news as it happens when being a core cutter, but we have both free and paid options on it. So check that out. I'll link to that show notes again, too. Um, if you don't want to watch news, just skip over it, but there's a lot happening in the world. I get a lot of questions about how can you watch live coverage of it, so wanted to bring that to the attention of everybody again. We do have a complete guide available in the show notes on how to watch breaking news as a core cutter. So let's kind of dive into this. Uh, speaking of watching stuff, I get a lot of questions. What do you, what services do you use? What services do you like? And that's kind of um, tough being re um, a reporter or reviewer. I subscribe to a ton of services. I mean, just in the live TV realm, I got Sling, PlayStation View, and SFN TV now, all currently subscribed to. So they're all out there. Um, there's a lot of options. Of course, the big ones, Sling TV, or excuse me, Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, are the big three right now. But then there's smaller ones. Tubi TV, a great service that brings you a ton of free content. Um, they market that they have the largest catalog of movies and TV shows out there. Crackle is another one owned by Sony that brings you free movies and TV shows. And they also have great original content and they've been really promoting a lot of originals. Um, the original that they're probably best known for is Comedians and Cars Getting Coffee with Jerry Seinfeld, a great show. Currently in their eighth season, uh, airing right now every week they put a new episode up. They also have a show called Sports Jeopardy. Just like Jeopardy that you've seen for many years, but all about sports. Uh, that's another great one out there. There's a lot of other lesser known services I really like. Um, Sci-Fi Station is a free channel that brings you a ton of great um, science fiction movies for free. I think it's only available on Roku right now, uh, but that's another one to check out. News On is another service. Um, they just launched a website version of their news portal. What it does is it streams local news um, content directly to you whenever you want it, however you want it. Um, that's a great option for core cars who live in areas like I used to, where over-the-air TV, you know, you struggle to get it. I used to live in a valley when we cut the core, got no over-the-air signals. We were, you know, over 50-some miles away and in a valley. It just was a bad situation. So... Keep that you know in mind that there's a ton of services, but ones I would recommend checking out are a few. Um, the Weather Nation is a free one on pretty much every platform I think now, including Apple TV was recently added, but don't quote me on that. Um, kind of, think of old fashioned uh, weather channel coverage. All weather, all the time, love that. Bit of a news junkie, I won't lie. Um, Sky News is another great free service for cord cutters that brings you a ton of um, News 24-7, they're a UK 24-7 um, news channel that's free online. Great when things are happening in Europe, which there's been a lot of happening recently, so I've been watching a lot of Sky News. Um, now for the fun stuff. Uh, I subscribed to um, Sling TV last year during football season. Uh, you know, I love those live TV services for sports. I use them primarily for that and news. Um, but so I, I did that. Um, of course, I'll be trying out PlayStation View this year and um, SFN TV. There's really so many options now in that realm. I, I would recommend trying out at least one of those services if you're a cord cutter thinking about getting into it. Uh, at least check it out. The greatest thing about it is no long-term contract. A uh, big football fan wanted ESPNU, had to pay an additional 50 bucks to get the ESPNU. Instead of being able to pay for it just during football season, I had to sign a two-year contract with my old Comcast provider. Now, you know, if I just want football coverage, I pay for it during football season and cancel it when football season's over. Or, you know, I can downgrade if I don't, you know, want to get rid of the sports package or, you know, downgrade to a smaller um, PSVU one. So there's a lot of options out there in that realm. Check that out. Uh, I do think Hulu, the big three right now, the, the service I think is doing the most interesting things between Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon has to be Hulu. Netflix, I mean, they're the juggernaut. 
great original content, lots of fun stuff out there to watch. Um, I have no intention to get rid of my um, Netflix subscription. But Hulu has really been striking a lot of deals. They just came up with a deal with Disney to get a lot more of Disney Junior, basically all the Disney Channel stuff, and even more ABC content, back catalog stuff on Hulu. Uh, Spike TV's back. I love my Bar Rescue. Um, Hulu's great. I can watch it the next day. They were briefly off Hulu, but then I guess some deal got struck and they're now back on Hulu, all the Spike TV content. Um, Discovery Networks, they got more content there on Hulu. TLC, if you're into that. I just think Hulu's underappreciated. Their movie catalog's a lot bigger now. Um, I'm gonna probably screw this up. I can't remember it's Stars or Epics that just struck a deal with Hulu. I apologize. I knew it before I started recording. But Hulu just struck a major, we'll call it a movie channel um, deal. They have a lot of movies um, and their catalog is quite impressive. Um, if you remember Hulu in the past, you did not think Hulu and movies. Um, now Hulu has a good selection of movies right now. So great TV shows, um, great movie selections. So I would say if you um, haven't tried Hulu in a while, I would try that out. I've been very pleased with it. And if commercials aren't your thing, they now have a commercial free option. Um, so check that out too. There's a lot of great um, great content there. And I know they got really beat down early on for their the way they structure the company and the commercials, but they definitely seem to be making great strides in improving that. And even better, if commercials are the thing that you don't like, you can always go and get the commercial free option. Uh, under the radar options too, I would check out uh, Red Bull TV. They do a lot of the more, let's call it extreme sports, BMX, um, kickboxing, fighting, all kinds of stuff. They got a good selection of high quality, well-produced um, sporting events. Um, if you have a Roku, the Sports Illustrated channel there has a ton of great sports um, shows of like ESPN and so forth for free. Or let me rephrase that. Um, shows like the ESPN Sports Center uh, every night produced there on the Sports Illustrated channel for free. Uh, so. Check that out if you're into sports. I do love the Document Depot um, channel on there. It's another free streaming service with tons of great documentaries. Uh, really enjoy that, like that a lot too. Um, so there's a ton out there. Uh, if you're into gaming, Twitch is a live streaming service that in the past has been known for gaming exclusively, watching people play. Um, a Mario game or Call of Duty or Battlefield, the list goes on. But they've been getting into a lot of other content. They're streaming the um, Republican debate and or convention and the Democrat convention. They've been streaming a lot of concerts recently. It seems like they're trying to broaden out a little bit now that they're owned by Amazon. So I could keep going, but you get the idea. There's a ton of content out there. I use a lot of it. My recommendation to you is this. There are free, um, Trials for a lot of the big services, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon has it, Sling, PlayStation View, SFN TV, all have free trials. You're not risking anything by trying it out. So sign up, give it a try. You know, just mark on your calendar when the free trial is over and end it before it hap you know the free trial is over. Even Amazon now with their Prime membership gets a free trial. Just remember to cancel it before the free trial ends because they don't give refunds once you pay for it. At least for the Prime. Um, membership itself. I've been pretty lucky with having issues getting refunds on um, on different devices and stuff I bought from Amazon. So check it out. Questions, comments, let me know. More importantly, do you have a service you like? Let us know. Put it in the comments. So let's see if we can get a good thread here of um, legal under the radar streaming services that you like or don't like. Do you disagree with a service I, I recommended? Um, let me know that. I'd love to hear from you too. Um, but check back next Tuesday. Every week we post a new Luke's office.